the expression work in progress certainly <laughs> that, that fits us right now. Um, but I thought there were some real bright spots in this game. Uh, there were some some spots that weren't so bright too. Um, but um, but I thought we responded in the second half and, and played much better defensively. We made one adjustment to an action that they were running in the first half that was hurting us, and um, um, and that seemed to stem the tide a little bit. And um, I thought our I thought our guards were were really really good defensively in the second half, um, especially Cam Johnson and Millie, Cam Johnson, <laughs> Cam Davis and Millie. My bad, Freudian slip. Um, Cam and Millie. And, um, um, but, um, you know, to hold their two guards the, the way we're able to and, and um, you know, again, for them to shoot 23%, 24% in the second half was, was really big for us. Obviously, the offensive rebounding was, uh, their offensive rebounding was an issue. But um, we just fought and kind of grinded and, and um, didn't make very many shots, but we did a good job at the foul line. Ryan made two huge plays at the end of the game, uh, the one, the tip in of Jared's missed layup and then the tap out of, of Parker's missed free throw. And um, so anyway, um, we would like for it to be easier, but we're, we're just not that team yet. And we just got to keep fighting and keep trying to get better. And, and hopefully we'll, we'll find ways to make it easier on ourselves as, uh, as time goes on. Jared and Millie talked about a passionate halftime speech you gave to the team. Um, do you think what was needed in that? Do you think it sparked them? I don't know. You know, um, I, I just think they played harder in the second half. I think we, we played harder. That's all I said was, was they just played harder than we did that half. It's not any scheme – Thing. It, they just played harder. They played with more energy than we did. If we have somebody who come in here and play with more energy than us, then we should be okay with with getting beat. But um, I don't I don't raise my voice too much with these guys. I, they don't. It's not what they need. They, they need they need support and confidence and and um, and I and I I mean I raised my voice, but it wasn't. It was it was more passionate than it was, you know, screaming at somebody or something like that. And um, and, and it wasn't even, I mean, believe me, I, I've got a lot more in the tank. But um, um, but they responded. They came out and played, and, and our bench was into it. And, and um, uh, I was able to get some guys a few minutes tonight that um, hadn't, hadn't gotten, you know, hadn't, hadn't gotten to play a little bit. And so uh, that was, that was kind of nice. And uh, so, Again, we, we've we've got a long, long way to go, but I, I like their their coachability. I like their attitude and and uh, the way they respond. And and uh, and I was really, really happy for Millie. Um, Millie, Millie, Millie played his hiney off tonight, and, and I, I was real proud of him for that. Is it Coach Cage who was the kind of lay into them guy at halftime? I think that's who they said really sort of got on them, challenged them. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was. I remember his voice was a little loud for a second too, um, but you know, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I'll, 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 I'll take heat for um, whatever. But it, the, the bigger thing is, is, and the great thing about this group is they don't. We say it, they try to do it. I mean, and so it's not. Uh, we just pointed it out to them. That's really all we did is point it out to them, and they responded and, and, and did a nice job in the second half. They had said that the Monday or that Tuesday's practice, sorry, you know, was you know was still very upbeat, very positive, even with with the O and two start. I mean, how much is that something you kind of have to make a concerted effort with and sort of remind yourself with, like, hey, you know, you know, I've got these guys they're sh they're sh they're struggling now, but as a coach, I'm in sort of a nurturing role where I have to not. Kind of well, that, yeah, that, that's that, that's the whole thing, and and um, my whole thing since Monday night has been. I told him before the game. I said, "Listen, we're we're the better team, but the best team doesn't always win, and that's a lesson that you learn 
a lot of times sooner than later in college basketball. And we have to go out and play the hardest. And, and um, so, yes, I'm, I try to give them confidence. I try to support them. Um, and again, if, if, if I was facing resistance, then I would have a different tone. But there's no resistance. There, as a matter of fact, it's sometimes they try too hard to do what we want, and, and they get in their own way. And, and, and I mean, I, I, told, I told Kenneth tonight, I said, listen, man, <laughs> it's, it's, okay to, it's okay not to – it's okay to make a mistake. Just stop beating yourself up for it. And, and I try to tell them that I'll, I'll do enough beating up for everybody, and they, they don't need to beat themselves up. But some of them don't listen. Kevin, have you changed the way you uh, approach things tactically in the game because of the inexperience and the youth of your team? Maybe in the past, if you saw that something wasn't working, you would be inclined to go out and make a change. Whereas with a group this young, maybe you're like, no, we need to learn how to do this thing that we're not doing right. That's, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's a really good question. And um, because... How we play defensively right now is probably the worst way to play Santa Barbara. So, and I knew that. I, I could see that Monday night. I'm watching the game film after we lost the overtime game, and I'm I'm thinking, okay, this is why. And and so now I have choices. I can throw a press in front of our defense. I can throw a zone in. You know, whatever. And and it's tempting because. you want to win the game. And then you start making short-term decisions. And whereas what you just said, we need to learn the fundamentals of, of what we're trying to do before I, I – mean, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say that I bail them out, but before I try to fix problems for them. They, that we have to learn – it's kind of what we did in the second half a little bit. All right, we started fixing problems. And when we started fixing problems, then they shoot 24%. And that's a much better lesson than me doing something the day before the game that we could have pulled off. We could have pulled it off and maybe made a difference. But to kind of bail them out and to protect them, if, if you will. And again, I've got to put them in the best position to win. And it's a fine line as a coach. That's why it's a really good question. There's a fine line as a coach of, OK, we got to learn what we, you know, we got to learn the fundamentals first. And, and yet, Obviously, the objective is to win the game. So it's, it, it's a battle that you fight, or it's a battle that I fight with a, with a team that's this young. Cool. Yeah. The team of uh, seven freshmen, and with the win tonight, um, in spite of the loss on, uh, to overcome the loss on um, Monday, what does this tell you? What does this win tell you about this, this team's uh, growing things? Well, I just, it goes back to their character and their coachability. They, 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 they try their butts off to do what we ask, and so if they do, then we'll we'll keep getting better. And and um, I, I thought we made some progress tonight, and you know we've started some different lineups. I'm trying to figure out who we are, what what our best approach is, who the and and um, what you get with freshmen is one night a guy's up here, and then another night he might not be whatever. And so, um, but anyway, uh, they have character that that I'm that I'm certain of, and and. Um, I, I can I can work with that. How big was tonight for Parker, uh, given you know, the struggles he had in the first couple of games? He hits those free throws. Yeah, you know, Parker's another one of those guys. I think that, and he's he's a little bit more uh, difficult to read because um, he's pretty quiet, and and um, uh, and I feel like I've got a really 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 good relationship with him, but um, he you know. He wants to do well so badly. He's another one of those guys, and and then he starts thinking a little bit or whatever, and and he just has to try to be the best version of himself, like the rest of them. But he just got to, you know, he stepped to the line and made made shots and um, uh, made his foul shots. One of these nights, he'll he's going to throw in four or five, and and he might be off and running because he he really is a a phenomenal shooter, and we we just have to keep going until we get him get him loose. How much are they watching Ryan? The little things like he did tonight with the put back at the end and the tip ball off the, off the free throw. Well, 
Ryan's the you know he he's the glue and the and, and the the leader of our team and and um, you know with him I have to find the fine line of <laughs> I I just wish that I wish he thought he was as good as I think he is and I'm not saying that he doesn't think that he's good I mean he knows he's good but he doesn't think that he's as good as I know that he is. And, and that's, a, that's a hard thing as a coach for me. I, I, I'm, I try, to, try to figure out the ways to, to kind of push the button with him and, and, um, um, because you can overkill it and you know, make a guy go like this. And um, so uh, I, I just, I, 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 I don't know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I've got to. Uh, he, he's he's playing with too much, or at least appears to me. It looks like he's playing with too much um, stress and not enough fun. He needs to go out and have fun. He he can he can play, and he just needs to go out and have fun. He needs to stop worrying about whether he leads us in scoring or rebounding or, or anything else. He got to go out and be the best version of Ryan. And if he is, then our team will benefit from it. And and. I don't know, and you know, again, maybe I've put too much pressure on him. Maybe somehow I've, and and, and I've got to I've got to watch that. I have to be careful of that because um, he's a really good player and he's a very productive player and he does all the little things well and he's the greatest guy to coach that a college basketball coach could ever have, and um, uh, I, I, he needs to smile more or something. I, I want him to start having some more fun. What was the key the last three minutes of the game when you pulled away? What was the key? Yeah, the Get, getting, getting stops. We, we, we made our free throws and got stops. And, and um, you know, they, we got up six. Jerry, we, we ran, we kind of took some time off the clock and ran a little spread ball screen. And, and Millie just made the easiest, most perfect play. He comes, he comes in off Ryan's ball screen, gets in towards the lane and just hooks it back over to Jared. Jared's open, he knocks in the three, puts us up six. So, you know, now you're one stop and, and the game's probably over. They come down and they, they bang in a three. And, um, but then what I liked was we had, we had poise. So we're trying to get the ball into Millie on the out-of-bounds play and press offense. They called timeout. Millie couldn't get it. Parker runs up there very aggressively like he really wants the ball, which is great to see for a freshman because some guys are trying to hide from it then. Parker runs up there and gets it. Then figures out, okay, I need to bring it up. Brings it up, gets fouled, makes his first free throw, misses the second one, and here comes our senior again. Bang, he tips it out. We make two more free throws. We're up six. They miss. Game's over. And it's poised at the end of games. It, it, you, you, that's – I coached some teams to where the margin when the game started was we could win big or lose close. That was kind of our margin. Those are fun, by the way, just in case you're wondering. We could win big or lose close. That, that, the, you, the range was somewhere in there. That's not the range with this team. If we win, we're, gonna, we're probably going to win a lot of close ones when we win. And so we have to be exceptional at the end of games relative to our execution, making our free throws, taking care of the ball, securing rebounds and things like that. And I thought that was... When we got it into that position, it looked like we knew what to do, and I, I, was, I was kind of proud of that.